All right, what's good, everybody? Welcome back. Listen, you know what time it is when you hear that music. Listen to that. Yeah, you know what time it is. All right, the film sessions are back. Uh, we're back. Uh, it's, it's the the Panther season is now over. And again, I know a lot of people are not Panthers fans, um, but uh, this is you know for for general usage. But we we're gonna kind of steer this towards the Panthers audience. Uh, so you may hear me sprinkle in some things about the Carolina Panthers. But again, everybody's welcome to watch. Hopefully, you can pick up a few things. But first off, we're gonna start off uh, with Jeffrey Okuda. Um, everybody knows top cornerback uh, in the uh, in the upcoming draft. Um, and listen, it, it's it's already noted. Uh, Panthers are picking number seven. I'm not sure if he even makes it there. Uh, but listen, um, great, amazing corner. Again, six foot one, uh, 200 pounds, ideal size for uh, outside cornerback. Currently a junior at Ohio State, but we're pretty much uh, assuming that he's going to come out uh, if he hasn't already declared by the time. I, I don't know what the stat, current status of, of his uh, draft uh, declaration is. But anyway, um, listen, I'm not going to read a lot of what – this man is great. Uh, okay, he's the best cornerback in the, in the, uh, in the draft. Uh, he has a, a man-to-man fit. Um, but listen, I, we're just going to go through what I feel like we should be looking for in a cornerback in general. And then we'll kind of take a look at the film and see if that applies, all right? Uh, so the first thing we're trying to look at is, is size. One thing that we lack as from the Carolina Panthers' perspective, from an outside cornerback, we've got Dante Jackson. Is it the biggest guy? Um, I think he's he's obviously under like 180, 185 or around 185. And for for size, for outside quarterback, we want to see around 5'11". We want to see a, a 195 plus. Uh, that would be considered a... Um, a bigger size cornerback, and that's what we're looking for. Um, is he a zone versus pre, uh, a, a zone uh, uh, or man cornerback? Uh, again, we don't have a defensive coordinator at the moment, so we don't know what kind of scheme we're going to run. Uh, we need a, a defensive coordinator that's going to be flexible enough to work with what he has, right? Um, it's, it's a matter of you want to be good enough to get the best players and make it work and not try to draft to fit a scheme per se. You want to be scheme flexible. Uh, you want to get the best players and make it work within the scheme, right? So long arms, want to see, the, the, the combine numbers are not out. Obviously, we're way ahead of the combine, but the, uh, we want to see long arms. We want to see ability, ability to locate the ball, fight for contested balls. Uh, we want to see him have that wide receiver mentality. We want to see him go hunt the ball. That's another thing that Carolina Panthers cornerbacks do not do. Um, we play the we play the receiver's eyes. You you will constantly see uh, the rec the uh, the the ball hit the back of our cornerback's heads. James Bradbury is a is a, a culprit. He does this all the time. He's the number one culprit for doing this. Balls constantly hit him in the back of the head. Pause. Um, and it's just not acceptable. We want to see him turn around. He'll have so many more uh, picks if he was able to locate the ball. We want to see. Uh, strong run support. That's another thing. Our cornerbacks cannot tackle. Okay, they cannot tackle. They are terrible in run support. Um, so we want to see him be able to come up and run and and uh, and, uh, and and support in the run. Is he an outside inside cornerback? Um, obviously, Akuda. We 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 are saying that he's an outside cornerback, and you'll see it on the film. And uh, can he, can they cover uh, tight ends and 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 the shifty uh, shifty running backs, as in your Christian, Christian McCaffrey types? Um, and then a plus, can he can he help in the return game? Not a, not a uh, not a requirement, but it, it'd be nice. Um, but let's get into it. Um, Akuda again. I'm not gonna read the film. I'll link, put a link to the description uh, to where you can go read about him and and kind of the the expert analysis behind it. I'm no expert. Again, I'm just an average Joe. Um, I don't do. I, I'm, I'm not gonna quit my day job to become a scout. So take it for what it's worth. All right. Uh, so let's let's jump right into the film and uh, see what we got with Jeffrey Okuda. All right, let's get it. All right, outside at the bottom. Like that. See the run support. It's, and this is the first play of this this is the the Clemson the Clemson game just happened. Run support. See how he he knocked ATN out. That's what I want to see. I want to see my man come up and make some plays in the run. Um okay. Nice little slant there. I could deal with that. And again, I don't know. It looks like they were running more of a, a zone here. You can tell uh, that he's trying to force his man to go inside. Uh, looks to be... I, I can't tell. I can't tell whether that's a zone or not. Now he looks like he's playing man. That looks like a man up right there. 
that's when uh your boy got knocked out the game. Good play though. Good play by Kuda. Pushed him out of bounds uh, with the safety help over the top. It's good awareness by Kuda. That runs the ability to come up, identify the play, make the tackle. Our cornerbacks are not doing that right now. They are not making tackles. They're not coming up, identifying the play, making the tackles early. Or if they 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 may identify the play and then they will miss the tackle, which causes a big play. If he missed that tackle, I mean, who knows how far um, your boy would have went. All right, so the ability to make the tackles, man, huge. Wrap up. Run support. Tackles. That's what I, I love it, man. I love that. Run support. Again. Nice little shedding of the block there. Just threw him off of him. This is amazing run support, man. And I didn't even notice it. I noticed the first play. Oh, that's just that's good defense. Good defense. Nice little hands. Keeping his hands on him. Without uh without passing the uh, interfering the passer. Let me see. Let me see some jam action. Okay, free release. Out of <laughs> I like that edge too, man. He got that. So he has the Dante Jackson in him, but can back it up. Dante Jackson yaps a lot, but he, he doesn't really back it up that much. Look at that. Look at that. I love that, man. I love the edge. He should have caught that ball, though. Okay. Got the speed to keep up with him. I love it. The speed to keep up with the receivers. It's something. Look in NFC South. We got good. We got good receivers. And Michael Thomas, Julio Jones. Can you keep up with those guys? It's a great play. Great. There's there's no way for him to throw that ball safely. Anyway, identify the play. Run up. Make the tackle. Great, man. This is great. This is great, man. This is the the controversial fumble, um, but if you go back and look at this play here, man, just the uh, he, what he does after the ball is in the receiver's hands is great. The guy catches the ball. Now he goes, identifies it, grabs his arms, locate, punch the ball out. All that that is amazing play, man. Get the ball out by any means necessary. Keep fighting. Get the ball out. Locate the ball. Separate the ball from the from the receiver's hands. That's what he did in that play. Should have been a fumble. Um, you know, I'm no referee, but I, I call that a fumble. But ex excellent play by Akuda. That's a catch, and then separate the ball. That's excellent play, man. That's excellent play. An ability to hang with the man too. It's a nice that was well designed uh play by Clemson and he was able to hang with them. They can show this they're gonna show this play a thousand times. It's so controversial, man. I get it. I get it. It's it, and it's a well it's a uh, a great play by Akuda separating that ball out. It's a great play. Yeah, he's pissed. He's pissed. Nice. He's great, man. He's a great cornerback, man. He's gonna be so good. Ohio State puts out good corner. Look, look at the physicality. He might have got away with a little hole, but that's okay. It's okay if it if it's not a hole if they didn't call it. It's not a hole if they didn't call it. Goal line. Yeah, that I mean that. Listen, covers can only co cover so long. Um, you start scrambling out. Uh, he lost. He, he got lost a little bit there, but that's okay. You're gonna give up some plays. That's okay. Uh, he, for the most part, he made he made some good plays. All right, let's move on to another game. Uh, yeah, let's let's rock with this one. 
Ohio State versus Michigan. Y'all always going to find some good film here. Rivalry game. I love it. Up top. Yeah, I, it disappeared. I don't know how he got open. Uh, so I can't really comment on that one. Can't really comment on that one. But I want to I want to watch him at the line of scrimmage. What is he doing with his hands at line? Can he can he is he physical enough to jam the receiver at the line line of scrimmage? I want to see that. Strong, tough cornerback. Let's see if we can see that in in this film. I got him got him with a little helmet the helmet action. Little helmet the helmet action. I watch this game live too. Nice. Use he's using that. That's just a great catch. That's a great catch. But he tried to what Okuda did good great there was use um the sideline as a defender. Pushed Force him out towards the sideline. He can't make the catch out of bounds. So use the, push him out. Yeah. He caught it out of bounds. And that's what that's what um, great cornerbacks do. Use that boundary as a, as, a, as a defender. Use it to your advantage. He pushed him all the way to the boundary. Oh, that's just a great play. Oh, man, that's a great play, man. This dude's great, man. That's such a good play, man. And cocky about it, too. And ain't no need to talk. Look, no need to talk. No need to talk. That's just such a great play, man. Such a great play. Man, perfect time. He timed it up perfect. Didn't get there too. Might have got there a step step early. And again, listen, if the refs didn't call it, it didn't happen, okay? If the refs didn't call it, it didn't happen. Up top. Man. His arms are so long, like he can just reach in there and knock the ball out and separate the uh, receiver from the ball. It's, man, he's so good, man. Easily number for best corner. Easily. Look at his arms. God, it's, it's, a, it's a good play, man. No separation. One-on-one -on -one up top. There's no help. No safety help either. He's all alone. Not sure what happened. He, it looks like he came back to the ball again. The scramble when the when the corner uh, when the receivers come back to the ball and start scrambling, it's, it's tough. It's really difficult. It's a good catch. Covers can't. Uh, excuse me. Corners can't cover forever. Okay. Run support. Run support. Look at this. Forcing the, uh, the running back out of bounds, man. Love it. I love him. He's The ability to identify the run, come up support is great. It's great. Chase Young helped too. <laughs> Shout out to Chase Young. One-on-one -on -one up top. Throw the fade up there. Yeah. You, you know what? He forced. I think he was expecting some help over the middle. He's ex expecting help over the middle. Don't know if you if you. I'm not sure what the coverage was there. Hopefully they go back and show the replay. All right. I, uh, he tried to separate the the rece Oh no, he did. Matter of fact, he did. That's a that's not a catch. That's not a catch. They separated the uh the ball out. That's just him. I think that's Wade. I think Wade was the one with the hit that uh, separated him from the ball. But Akuda definitely played it too. If he wasn't there, if Wade wasn't there, at number four, I believe that's Wade. If he wasn't there, I believe he would have uh, gotten the ball, uh, gotten the ball out himself too. All right, so this is the last one I'm gonna do here. Okuda versus uh, Michigan State. Last one. Last one. Little zone. Run. Nice.
Yeah, we're not seeing much direct work to Akuda. That's okay. There we go. Ah, almost. Yeah, wait, wait. Uh, excuse me. Um, Akuda's not seeing much, much work here in this game. Rightfully so. He's at the bottom, yeah. Hmm. Wow. Not sure what happened there. I'm not sure what happened on that play. I have to go. Let me see. Let me just go back. Let's go back and see what happened on that play. I missed it. All right. Went back too far. Sorry about that. Here we go. Looks like they're playing. Nope. I went back way too far. Came with a run support there. Here we go. Ah, this is a knee. Either. I went back way too far. Mm, nice jam there. Nice jam down there. He jammed the hell out of 25. Nice strong jam. I'm going to cut this one short because it's not much work. Not much work for Akuda in this one. Let's see what we can get. Let's do Indiana. Check this one out. It's a bit blurry, I know, but we'll make it work. Bailed. Nice. Here we go. Now we're clear. Mm, nice defense. Nowhere to throw. Nowhere to throw the ball safely. Nice little zone. Ooh, laying the wood. Jesus, God. Man. How cool it can hit, man. God, I love corners that can hit, man. Hmm. Okay, he saved the big play by being able to tackle. Listen, he gave he's not gonna knock down or, or deflect every pass. Uh he's gonna give some up every now and then. Hmm. I'm curious to see what his 40, 40 time is gonna be. If it's anything, if it's like a four Anything under a, a four four and under, it's a wrap, man. Oh, he got hurt there. Back in there. Hmm. Got a Pete number four. Fuller. I'm sorry. I, I called him Wade earlier. I'm sorry. That's Fuller. Mm. 
look at look at how there's no separation, man. There is no separation between this dude. If if he is separating, he, uh, looks like Akuda has the ability to keep. No, he's stride for stride with him. Stride for stride the whole time. Stride for stride. What I do want to see is his ability to uh to close the gap if he does get beat. If he gets beat, can he close the gap? That's what I want to see. I haven't seen that quite yet on film. That's just because he's been step for step, though. You know what I'm saying? So. Nice. That was Wade, I think. Ah, he got tripped up. Right into his own guy. Those are tough. Those crossing routes are tough, man. You you get cr you start running into your own people and confused on who you guarding. Chase. Is that Chase? Yep, little stunt. Got him. Oh, he's wide open. Jeez. Could have been a slight communication there in the sec miscommunication in the secondary. It w went after the same guy. Tackle. Let's see this tackle. Oh, tripped him. Wade tripped him. A little safety look here. A little versatility. That's always a plus too. Little jam. Nice. Nice tackle by the corners. Run support. Haven't seen it much here in this game, but definitely seen it in other games. This ability to come up, identify the run is, is great. Nice. Mm, that's a good throw. Probably should have caught that. All right, Seth Jeffrey Okuda. Listen, um, listen. I don't know if he's gonna make it to us at number seven, but if he does, um, I'd be hard pressed uh, to not take him there. Uh, we got we've got to revamp our secondary. Uh, I think Dante Jackson must slide into slot corner, uh, and we don't know what we're gonna do with James Bradbury at the moment. Um, our GM has said, hey, be patient. Uh, we'll get you a deal at some point. Uh, but listen, a man's got to do what a man's got to do. Uh, it's probably going to test free agency. That will leave us with zero corners. Okay, so um, this, the corner the corner position could be revamped for us. Um, and uh, I'm not sure uh, we could pass up Okuda if he's there at seven. I don't think he's going to be there. But if he is, um, I'm running uh, to the podium to go get it because this is a game changer, game changer cornerback. All right. That being said, I'm peace out. That being said, I'm out. I'm Rashad from the Path of Nation podcast. Thank you for watching. Peace out. See you guys on the next one.